People I am here to warn you. The plants are coming. These are not the same type of plants that we are familiar with. They are intelligent and evil. They want to enslave us and eat us. Remember how we used to herd animals for food? That's what they want to do to us. I have seen them for myself. I watched them eat a person. They create pods that resemble us in order to interact with us and deceive us. Come on old man. You cannot be serious. Killer plants flying around the universe? Ha ha ha. My husband is telling the truth whether you believe him or not. I have seen the plants too. They are spreading. I fear for our daughter who lives on a backwards planet. Maybe the two of you should be locked up in an institution. Both of you are paranoid. It is you who are crazy. You are paying no attention while the plague spreads. Come on sweetheart. They will listen someday when it might be too late. I miss Gina. How much longer will she stay on that backwards planet anyway? I don't know. She should be visiting soon. They have to hide the activities of our people there because the Earth is a hostile place. Jake, do you find something fascinating here? Well Julie we are seeing heavy forestation and that is not supposed to be on Mars. What do you make of the large circular object near the top? Is that an impact crater? Good question Julie I will work on that. It does not appear to be an impact crater, no. Here is another view contrasted with more desert-like features. I can see that crater has a second crater on the inside, like a bull's eye. I am with you. I don't believe it is an impact crater. Report on this system. What do we know about it? Our reports on the Sol system are out of date Commander. There did not used to be a planet orbiting opposite of the Earth. We know nothing about it. The Earth itself seems to be uninhabited by higher beings. I am getting no signals from it, but I am reading a small base orbiting the fourth planet. How can that be? That system is supposed to have billions on it. I have been monitoring galactic chatter and it appears that the Zorkons may be responsible. Do you have any readout on the base at the fourth planet? There is limited information on it. I suggest we contact them possibly request a meeting. The master will not want us to leave before we find out. We will prepare an envoy to express our goodwill. Have two of the staff meet me in the lounge area to discuss strategy. Master it appears that this system has been purged of human life except for a handful at what used to be the fourth planet, technically now the fifth, are you planning to dispatch an envoy? Yes we will contact whoever is there. Intelligence reports indicate a small number of young humans living at the base. What happened to the Earth? It is only preliminary but it appears the Zorkons may be responsible. That is a shame. There was plenty to harvest there. This will be easier though. Any orders before the strategy meeting? 
break out one of the colonists from stasis. I am hungry. As always you are the master, we are your servants. Thank you for coming. Of all the inhabited systems that we have visited, none has disappointed us like this one. We had hoped to colonize the earth as it had an abundance of food. Unfortunately the Zorkons got to it first. So what will I be doing? What is at the base we have heard of? We know that there is a small number of humans there. Intelligence reports are not 100% clear. It is believed that they are younger possibly with a warship available to them. Standard procedure cannot be used. It looks like we need to trick them into coming with us, and then we will put them in the stasis tubes to replenish our stocks. What is left of our stocks anyways? We have a few colonists and four of the original crew. The master hopes that there will be enough humans there to provide food until we get to our home world. How will we get the attention of humans? Just call them? Our course will be altered to head straight toward them, and we will make enough noise to make sure we get their attention. Won't they dispatch the warship if they have one? That is the idea. You will go with them, if they will permit it. Then you will explain to them that they can go with us to a new planet and join other colonists who they will meet a few at a time, on a new planet to start a new life. Why not just use a frontal assault? We might be able to overwhelm them like we did with this crew. This ship is a civilian ship. When we took this ship over the crew was unarmed and unprepared. That is not the case here. These Earth humans are known for their warlike ways, always spoiling for a fight. Alright so I will act as a peace envoy and gather intel about them in the process. That is correct. We are to gain their trust and try to get them to join us. I will put on all my charms and may the master be praised. What is the trajectory of the alien spacecraft? It is headed into our system still but not directly at us. Attempt to contact that ship, and send a priority message to Discovery to stand ready to intercept. If it keeps going the way it is going it will skim through the solar system. How long until a message reaches it? At this distance it takes radio waves 4 hours to go one way. It would take 8 hours or more to get a reply. If the ship turns toward us or contacts us then let me know immediately. Captain I have a priority message coming in from the station. They say to stand by to intercept the alien spacecraft that we have been tracking. Navigator keep a tight lock on that ship. We will need to move in a minute's notice. If everything is ready then it is time to get their attention. Navigation plot a course to Mars. Helm, we will be going to half speed. I don't want to scare them and be shot down. Isn't it feeding time for the master? I have someone tending to that. These humans should keep the master and his friends fed until we get to the next system. Captain the ship has turned and is headed right for us now. Contact Discovery. I want to talk to Commander Lass. I see the ship has turned. I am assuming that you want us to intercept? Yes Commander. You will be on your own because of the distance as signals will take time. I want you to extend a hand of friendship. They are talking about sending a representative. I trust your judgment. If you think it is alright you may bring a representative back to the station. Captain to crew. We have been ordered to intercept the inbound alien spacecraft. Navigator set course to intercept. Helm, flank speed. Jill there it is. It is huge. They are calling us. Earthship. You may land on our platform and we will transfer a representative.
I am Jella, representative of Planet Abraxas. We are prepared to make an offer to you. Already we have some young colonists, mostly in stasis, that we are transferring to a new planet far away. I cannot make this decision, but I can listen to your offer if you wish to tell me. First I would like to give you a tour of our ship. Won't you be so kind as to join me, I would be be delighted. This is our hangar bay. Obviously your ship is too big. A force field keeps our air in. It looks pretty spacious. You don't have any shuttles of your own? No we are a civilian transport ship. We rely on shuttles from the surface of planets that we visit. Now we will go down a ramp to the colonist quarters. This is a really nice area. Would we be staying here? Yes. Most of our colonists joined at an earlier date, but this planet orbits Alpha Centauri which is not far away. You will live reasonably well while we transport you to it to begin a new life. Down here are our crew quarters. This area to our left is off limits. I will take you to the command center next. All very impressive. My captain expects us to return soon so we need to get going if you don't mind. Jello welcome aboard the station. I am Captain Matt Stone. We represent Earth's space fleet here on Mars. Thank you Captain. The planet Abraxas is prepared to offer you a new life. If you approve of the move, we will welcome you onto our ship. You will be transported to a habitable planet circling Alpha Centauri, joining other colonists and forming a new civilization. You are aware I hope that we are trying to restore the civilization on Earth after an attack by the Zorkons. Yes we know. Your chances of success are really low and we would like you to consider our plan to start a new life. Well we can discuss this further after I offer some hospitality to you and give you a tour of our station. I wonder why Matt has us penned up here. 
He wants to limit contact with the stranger for now. What do you think of the offer to take us to a new planet? I still hope that we can restore the Earth. I want to go home. We will Sally. You have to have faith. What did you make of the newcomers Jill? They seemed really nice. I only had time for a quick visit on their ship. It is comfortable. Would you girls from Cygnus B want to go there knowing that there would be no way to go back? We have no real way to leave now. Captain's Log I cannot imagine spending the rest of our lives here if we are unable to rescue the Earth. Still I have a very uneasy feeling about going with a bunch of strangers to the new planet. Concerning the new planet, I don't remember any habitable planet having been found around Alpha Centauri. Oracle on. I need all information on planets that could be habitable to humans in the Centauri star system. That is the system that is less than 5 light years from this planet. The planet Proxima B orbits the dwarf red star Proxima Centauri and is in the habitable zone. It is known to be swept by flares from the star and would be unlikely to be habitable. It is the only planet that we know of in the system. Is it possible that there is an unseen planet orbiting one of the stars in the Centauri system? It is highly unlikely as star mapping had become an accurate art at the time of the removal of humanity from Earth. Where is the alien known as Jella? Jella is in the lounge habitat. Oracle off. Derek wake up. I have a special job for you. I want you to turn the telescope on the Centauri star system. What do you want me to look for? Look for any evidence of planets in the system. I already know about Proxima B. Will do Captain though I really don't know that there is any such thing. Jella I have called you here to explain what planet in the Centauri system is habitable. You said Alpha Centauri has a planet around it, but according to our records there is none. Derek tell us what you did find. To be honest Captain I found something orbiting the star. It is occluding the star slightly as it travels around the star. Was that there before? What is it? I don't know but it looks large enough to be a planet. Jella is that the planet you are speaking of? What are the surface conditions? Captain that planet was installed not long ago, as you saw with the planet brought into this system. It is somewhat of a common practice in the galaxy. It is warm, with minimal seasons. It is perfect for your race. We will provide all information after our ship arrives. I will require photos of the planet and all physical information before I even consider your plan. 
In my position I am sure you would do the same. Very well Captain we would expect nothing less. I am getting a message from our ship. It is in shuttle range. I suggest an exchange program. You can send a few people over there and we will send some colonists. Here to mingle with your people. We will take this slowly. Julie is in charge generally of the station so I will get her input on that. Still I want to maintain friendly relations so we will exchange visits. Matt what's this? We are going to have these people over here? Julie may be a couple at a time. I am still nervous about this whole situation. We have to be polite, but keep a tight leash on them. Tell our people to keep their eyes open whether they are here or over there. You aren't seriously thinking about going with them are you? No, not yet. I require proof that there is a planet. I am not at all convinced. Have you deployed the spy drones Jella? We need all the information we can get. I deployed them in the habitats as requested, I have not activated them on the ship or station awaiting the order to do so. Remember they may be detected. I think we will take the chance on detection. Activate them now. Also provide the information about the new planet to the humans so they will be less wary. Use the memory drug on the colonists so they will think everything is okay after being taken out of stasis. Very well I will do that. May the master be praised.
Captain Matt Stone. I am addressing all crew members about our current situation in the ship, station, and habitats. Julie and I have considered the offer from the strangers and we are asking for your input. We have decided to put this to a non-binding vote. What that means is, the final decision will lie with myself and Julie, but it is necessary and desirable to get the general opinions of all the crew. After all, this is a monumental decision which is not to be taken lightly. Do we abandon the earth, our home for all our years, or do we stay and take our chances here? I have talked this over with Julie and we are both skeptical, perhaps even apprehensive of the idea. There are too many questions left unanswered, and I intend that they be answered before we make any move. Specifically, I am not convinced that there is a habitable planet waiting for us at Alpha Centauri. We will look at the evidence however. Life on a new planet may not be easy. We are dealing with uncounted numbers of unknown factors. Will there be enough food, water, and shelter? What will the dangers be? We don't know. On the other hand, the situation here at Mars Station is quite fragile, and it seems like interactions with aliens will be rather common, with not all of them friendly. Julie and I greatly value your input and friendship. All hands are asked to vote on Discovery at 1300 hours. May God guide your decision. That is all. So what do you think Jill? Should we go or stay? Well I am a girl who is out of place. I would love to go back to Cygnus B but I still think of the Earth as my home and I want to save it. I miss my family and even though technically they never existed, I still want them back. The new planet is tempting but I can't vote yes. I belong here. We at Martian Command would be sorry to see you go. We are hoping for a colony on the surface to help start rebuilding our planet. Well we do have potential colonists on board that ship. Of course they would not be satisfied with Mars after being told about the new planet. I am convinced that we could make a decent place for you to live if we worked together. If rescuing the Earth does not work out we might just do that. In the meantime I am voting not to go. I miss the Earth. It was a little primitive but I had a lot of fun there. I cannot just abandon the Earth while there is still hope. How about you Jake? I have a great deal of work to do and the biology of Mars absolutely fascinates me. I need tools to study it. I would love to see the new planet, but there is much to do here. We girls were sent here to help aid the Earth and until our mission is completed I don't think any of us are going anywhere. I am truly glad to hear that. You girls have proven to be invaluable members of our crew and we love you for it captain to crew. The votes are in, and it is unanimous. We are staying. I could not be more proud. I will convey my best wishes to Jella. Visits back and forth will continue until they decide to leave. Thank you all for your support to myself, Julie and Mars Station. looks like I took a wrong turn somewhere. I wonder where this ramp goes. I have not seen down here before. I wonder what is in this room. Oh no, this is not right. 
giant plants and they move. I have to talk to the captain. What? I am just visiting. Put him in a stasis tube for now. Foolish human, you should not be poking around where you don't belong. Wait you cannot do this. I won't tell the captain. Wait. Do you still hope to restore the earth? It might make more sense for you to come with us and populate a new planet. We are going to try. The vote was unanimous to stay. We want our families back. They tell us that Alpha Centauri Prime is beautiful. It is also the same type of star as yours so you would not have to adapt. It might be interesting to visit someday but we want our Earth back. I really need to go. The shuttle is late. Let's see what is in here. This does not look good. He looks like a crew member. What's he doing in here? I will try to wake him up. Who are you? Where are they? Sally Jenna, Earth Space Defense Force. We can do the introductions later. We were hijacked. Have you retaken the ship? No, we don't know what is going on. Look there is the shuttle to pick up some exchange colonists. Commander? I need to speak with them. Yes I will take you to the station. Come with me now to the shuttle. This is a medical emergency. Gina, take us to the captain. We have to go now. Send a message to the passenger ship that we need to delay. Who is our passenger? What is going on here? Gina, go now. Matt will sort this out. I am Captain William Faber of Astral Lines. Before we start, I would like you to tell me just what is going on. Captain, you know more than I do. This is called Mars Station. We are the last outpost of Earth. Your ship was piloted by strangers into our system. They say they want to take us to a new planet to colonize it. Your people are in danger. Here is what happened. Our ship caters to businessmen, diplomats and such for short and medium range trips. We have stasis tubes for long range trips. We were visiting a planet, Pegasus 1 and were supposed to take a load of diplomats to Zarkus 2. A shuttle came aboard, and it had people and some plant pods on it. We were unarmed, and they quickly overwhelmed us. They put us in the stasis tubes. Did you say plants? We are dealing with what looks like humans. They are some kind of mutant or something. That is all I know. If you have anyone on there get them out now. What about the colonists who are on board? Did you pick them up? They must have been picked up later by the hijackers. Alright captain we will see what we can do. There are only 10 of us.
Commander I have positive tracking on the stolen spaceship. It is near the fourth planet in the Sol system. Report on that system. Who is there and what are the threats? The fourth planet is rumored to have the remnants of a civilization on it. The third planet was attacked by the Zorkons using a time device and the humans eliminated. The ship seems to be stopped near the planet which is called Mars. There is communication traffic between it and a space station there. Monitor their communications and proceed toward the ship. Contact our negotiators and tell them to prepare. We don't want this to get to the galactic press if we can avoid it. If that base is military then they are likely to object. What shall I tell them? Remind them that the ship is the property of astral lines and they have no right to interfere. Julie we must now consider this to be a hostage situation. All leaves are cancelled, and I want an immediate head count. I want all personnel to be accounted for. What do we do with the colonists who are on board now? It is risky but I think we need to keep them in the habitats for now. What do we do when they start to object? We will have to make up excuses for Jella, but maybe we should tell the colonists the truth. Matt another ship is headed in. They are flying straight for the ship, not here. Missy try to call them, warn them off. Tell them that there is a hostage situation. They say that they are hostage negotiators for astral lines and to mind our own business. Explain to them that the danger is extreme and cannot be handled by civilians. I get no reply now. They closed out the channel. There is nothing we can do. We have no jurisdiction. They are on their own. How many of these negotiations have you been on? A few. Usually it is kids on joyrides and they give up. Shouldn't we be getting into our formal negotiation clothes? Yes let's go ahead and do that. It will be over quickly and we will get a big bonus. What about the warnings from that space station? They are just busybodies from Earth's military. Don't worry about it. Welcome to the ship. How may we help you? I am Xena. We are here to negotiate the return of our ship. Bring them in Jella. We will begin our negotiations. Alright if you will follow me I will take you to our master. There is no help for you. I have been wanting a snack. Thanks Jella. Bring in one more for the pod plant. Hi I guess Matt is busy but I need to speak with someone about this new ship, and also some changes that the Martian people are about to go through. Matt is still conducting a head count and all leaves have been cancelled. 
What is your concern Zili? It seems to me that we are in more danger than... Jill help me put Zili on the table. She just collapsed. Notify Matt. Tell him there is a medical emergency and that Zili is ill. Matt Derek is missing. I did a head count and I did not find him anywhere. Is he aware that all leaves are cancelled? I did not find him on their ship either. I think that they have taken him. What do you think it is Sally? Will she be alright? It is beyond earth science Matt. Her body is shutting down but on the molecular level. Could some disease organism do this? There is nothing in our database that could account for this. She mentioned a change coming before she collapsed. Zeely we are all pulling for you. If there is anything we can do to help then find a way to tell us. I will contact the Martian government. Matt you have been a good friend. Don't grieve. This is something you do not understand. Do everything you can Sally. We will try to contact the Martian government. The obvious question is, who are you and what are you doing on my ship? Captain Stone, I am from Orion Special Forces. There are four of us who were put on the ship in order to monitor it. Unfortunately we were, were in stasis for some time. What is your mission here? I gather that you never thought this was a simple hijacking. The situation is worse than you know. Some time ago some scientists created plant species that were intelligent and carnivorous, and were intended to control invasive animals. Instead, they developed a taste for human flesh, spreading on the planets where they were first put and gaining control of space fleets. This is war. Tell me your proposition and make it quick. And this is a hostage rescue situation. We offer training and support. The hostages must be freed. Okay we will see. I have an officer missing so it will be easy to get my cooperation though there are so few of us. Captain we represent Astral Lines. We apologize for not listening to you. The representatives we sent into the ship have vanished. We now ask for your help in this matter. Do you have any information about this? What we believe is that your negotiators may have been eaten. Eaten by plants? How can that be? I have never heard of that. I was told that by some Orion Special Forces. This is a hostage situation. We could use some help with it. What can we do? We are civilians, not military. Fighting is not what we do. Well we cannot force you to do anything. Of course, you can always go back and tell your company about what happened. What do you have in mind for us? We are civilians who work for a cruise lines. I hope you don't expect combat out of us. That is exactly what I am looking for. We will provide a quick training session and provide weapons. Is there some reason that we should do this for you? You would do it for the two crew members that you lost. Or you can leave and try to explain to your company and the authorities what happened to your negotiators. We are offering you a chance for redemption of sorts. We will consider it captain. 
I am truly sorry for the way things have turned out. This is Captain Matt Stone. Standing with me are two members of Orion's Special Forces. They will be providing training for our next action. I will turn this over to them. I am Loa from Orion Special Forces. Our mission is... Captain do you have insect life here? There should not be any insects here. One moment. It looks like a micro drone. Captain, your security is appalling. We will have to do a full sweep of all your facilities before we continue. In the meantime I am going to have a conversation with a certain plant. Have Jake and Gina meet me on the shuttle with weapons. Captain Stone to what do we owe this visit? We can skip the small talk. You are holding a number of humans, including one of my officers, hostage, and I want them released immediately. Surely you realize that we will never allow that. Your officer violated our rules and he is ours. Where is your leader? Why does he not show himself? Bring him in Jella. He looks mighty appetizing. Well what shall I call you? I can't believe I am talking to an enormous flytrap. You can call me the master. Alright let's get down to business. I am prepared to offer you a bargain. What can you offer me? Very simple. You release my officer, free the hostages, and you will revert to being a regular plant growing in soil. Mars has plenty of soil that it can provide. This is what you are offering? What a joke. Do you have any idea what you are dealing with here? You are a genetically engineered plant and I am offering you a way out of this situation. You will be taken to a new planet where you can grow but you will have to stop eating sentient beings. But they are so tasty. There will be no deal with you. Besides, what can you do to stop us? Since you have been monitoring us, you are fully aware that I command a warship. Try to flee and it will disable you. Now you threaten us. Get him off my ship Jella. To all plants. There are many more humans than we thought. Feed yourselves generously. We are all under siege from the humans and there is a major battle looming between us. Use the humans to strengthen yourselves this will be a vicious fight and there is no getting around it. All plants, get ready.
I have not had a tasty meal like that in some time. 